healthy lunch option is on the menu in the News 9 kitchen. The recipe for a shrimp salad is coming up. Hey, we are cooking gluten-free in the News 9 kitchen today. We're joined by Una Williams from Royal Temptations. And uh, you've come up with a lot of different recipes now for yes. um, folks that are gluten-free. And you're sharing one of your salads today. Yes. And you were saying, what's quinoa? You've never heard of it. No. And it's spelled Q-U-I-N-O-A, even though it's pronounced quinoa is like keen state. But you do say, you know, um, couscous. Now, couscous, unfortunately, is made from wheat. So people that are gluten intolerant can't have wheat, barley, and rye. And so much food out there nowadays has wheat hidden in it everywhere mm -hmm. you know you, you can't win so um, quinoa is very high in protein high in fiber iron phosphorus and contains I think most of the essential amino acids that humans need for nutrition so it's this wonder grain from the Andes from the Incas for like 6,000 years and um, as you see that those tiny seeds there is what it looks like when it grows and then when you cook it it cooks up like this which looks like couscous mm -hmm. so people love couscous for putting a sauce over it it's in a lot of Middle Eastern cooking and it gives you something different rather than rice and potatoes all the time and so many people don't like gluten-free pasta once they've had grew up on real wheat right. so, so what we do with um, the quinoa it has this um, insect repellent natural insect repellent on it that stinks a bit you know so you have to rinse it rinse it rinse it and put really? it yes it does stink you know I won't ask you to smell the plastic okay. bag um, you, you have to rinse it really well and then you sieve it through either a coffee sieve you know coffee filter or a flour sieve because anything it's so else, fine because it's so yeah. fine it goes through then it's the same as couscous and rice it's basically two lots of water to one lot of quinoa put it in a pan and cook it for 15 minutes leave the lid on until the water is totally absorbed mm -hmm. and then you either serve it hot with the vegetables and everything, or you do this, which has got a vinaigrette in it. So I wanted a Mexican flavor this time, so I melted some of this pepper jelly, and then olive oil and lemon juice, and salt and pepper, and basically just mixed it together and put mm -hmm. it in here with green onions and parsley. Then you've also got the shrimp, of course, that was the major thing. Mm -hmm. And we've got cucumber, and then for color, we've got roasted red pepper and tomatoes and yellow squash. So you're getting all the vegetables that they tell you. The more color of vegetables you have, the healthier it is, as well and then fresh shrimp in it and then I like to cook some um, bigger shrimp just with a touch of chipotle on top to give it an extra bit of spice you're getting hot shrimp and cold salad and these are just some of the and as I think I said to you these yeah, what are, you, you these are gluten-free sweet potato muffins with craisins um, raisins and pecans a Kahlua cake Kahlua is safe so cake with Kahlua in it and chocolate ganache on top and then some chocolate cookies and they're all part of the cooking classes I'll be doing in the fall and I'm going into Nashua library Manchester library Derry library southern New Hampshire sharing some recipes with and folks. doing demonstrations yeah. and working with some of the autistic people um, for the children because going gluten-free and casein free and lower sugar helps them um, improve the autism which I'm sorry all the chemicals in the food nowadays is what causes it and this is all totally natural and healthy. So. All right. Well, Una, thanks Thank for coming you. in. We You're appreciate very it. And we'll be right back.